Hey everybody, Awesome here. I know my videos aren't usually these kind of videos, but as someone who's trying to experiment in all forms of content creation, I thought trying a tutorial would be pretty cool. This is my first Animal Crossing game and I am absolutely in love with it. I'm so glad that I decided to purchase this game. That said, here's what you're here for. How to properly deal with tarantulas and how to consistently make a bunch of bells by making your own spider island. And I think my favorite part about this is that it's actually open to a lot of early game players. I want to give a shout out to Zach Soares on Twitter for pointing this out to me. You're going to need a few things. You're going to need a Nook Miles ticket, the DIY recipes for the basic tools, those being the net, the axe, and the shovel. You can also bring other materials like branches, but it's not necessary. I know that some players don't have all of the upgrades yet, so it's okay to bring some branches along. Go to the airport at night and use your Nook Miles ticket. You're going to want to find an island that is completely flat, which means there are no cliffs that would require a ladder. If you do find an island with these elevated spaces, you're going to have a much harder time getting tarantulas, especially if you don't even have the ladder yet. So if that's the case, just harvest it like normal and leave. Once you do find the right kind of island, which I was actually fortunate enough to get on my first try, clean out the entire place. Yes, you heard me. The entire place. And here's how it's done. Weeds and flowers can be pocketed pretty easily, and if you have the right tools, you can also cut down the trees. Just be sure to have your net equipped in case a wasp nest spawns. It's not super problematic if you get stung, but it is quite annoying. Now we want to build the tools. You can take the trees for twigs, or just build the tools you need with the twigs that you brought along. Next, let's take the minerals out from the rocks. If you dig in two nearby spaces like this, you'll actually be able to stop yourself from being knocked back too far from the rock when slinging your axe or shovel. This will ensure you get the most out of each rock, since the drops are on a timer starting from when you first hit the rock. We'll come back to these later. Go ahead and dig up all the flowers and place them down on the beach. Again, make sure to pluck the flowers, as this will prevent bugs like stink bugs and butterflies from spawning. Now, if you cut down any trees, use your shovel to pull out the stumps you haven't already. Certain bugs can actually spawn on the tree stumps, which we don't want to happen either. And now, going back to the rocks, use the fruit that you harvested from the trees on the mainland or the coconuts from the beaches. You can eat them to store a powerful hit that completely breaks all the rocks. Now, once you've cleaned up the entire place, you have to go around scaring off the two other remaining bug types that spawn, regardless of there being flowers. These are the tiger beetle and the wharf roaches. This will make sure that the spawns refresh and give you a faster rate of spawning tarantulas without needing to waste any of your net's durability. And there you have it! Tarantulas will now begin to spawn at a much higher rate. The best way to catch a tarantula is by holding the A button with your net up and slowly walk over to them. When they throw their body up, you can inch a little bit forward, freeze, and then wait for them to sit back down. Keep repeating this until you catch them. For a little extra safety, I like to dig up these little holes in a plush shape. This will help with dealing with tarantulas if they do start charging at you. Simply jump over the hole and catch them from there. Sometimes the tarantula will manage to get through and hit you, but this will give you a much better chance of catching it if they do start charging. And after a little bit of time, you'll fill your entire inventory with those huge, hairy, pricey nightmares. Tarantulas sell for 8,000 bells, which means that even with the basic inventory, 19 of these will give you 152,000 bells, and with the first upgrade, 232,000. That's insane! Hopefully this helps you with paying your rent. Again, this is a completely new format of videos for me, so if this helps you, let me know. I'll try and make more videos like this in the future. And with that, thank you for watching, and happy hunting.